Hello everyone, this is Malaya, and I know that most of you recognize this brother that is in front of this camera. This is none other than Kenyon, who we like to refer to as Freedom. That's right. <laughs> Freedom. That's right. Okay, how did you... Uh, how did you come up with freedom? I mean, was that uh, your birth name or just tell us about that? Oh, okay. I'll give you a, a quick brief summary. Okay. Um, when I was born, before I was born, they came up with the name of Kenyan Asherah, mm -hmm. and which is Hebrew. So I was born with the Hebrew name. Asherah is, uh, is the song that they sing when the children of Israel were leaving out of Egypt. And you can see that on the, what's the, kid, the kids movie? The, um, the, the kids movie with about the Moses leaving Egypt. But anyway, Asherah means country of freedom. So that's what my name comes from, freedom. Okay. So, so yeah. were your parents Hebrew Israelites? Well, though, nationally, nationally, yes. They were born Hebrew Israelites. Now, if they know it, no. But there was something spiritual that had to be going on there. I think during that time, it was the uh, uh, early 70s. I was born in 72. Mm -hmm. And you have that, you know, that's the, that freedom of expression, you know, that fight mm -hmm. to power, you know, during that era. So... Um, yeah, my brother and myself got Hebrew names, absolutely. Well, you know, that's kind of um, not surprising because a lot of the slaves took Hebrew names from the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I know my mother's name was Alma and my father had a Hebrew name as well. And so um, it's like rediscovering our roots, Right. you know. So um, did they actually... Uh, Follow the Hebrew calendar. Did they no. did they celebrate? Or, no, no. My my, my, my family is one, was one of those traditional uh, Negroes who oh, were, okay. were Baptists. You know, I come from mm -hmm. a family that was uh, from Alabama. Mm -hmm. My mother family and my father family was from uh, uh, Georgia or the uh, uh, the Seminole that mm -hmm. the Seminole people that mm -hmm. was in Florida. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's that's my background on my father's side and the background on my mother's side. Uh, my father was born in actually Detroit, but again, his father. Matter of fact, my father's mother was from the Carolina. She was Geechee. Mm -hmm. She's a Geechee woman, but she was raised up in Florida, and that's how she eventually met my uh, my grandfather. Okay. So they named you Freedom. They named me and Freedom. now here you are, in the forefront yeah. of this movement that's spanning the globe. Yes, ma'am. You know, the yes. exodus from America, which yes. many of us refer to as Babylon. That's right. Well, the, the, not only the exodus from America, but the exodus, this is, a, this is an international exodus. This is the preparation and the beginning of our people to retreat for pilgrimage back to the place where they offended the master in his face. So, um, I mean, we had brothers who came down from Europe, you know, mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> The last uh, uh, video said, you know, seek him speedily. And then when they told me, he's like, we saw it. We had to go speedily. Two brothers, when they came, um, I emerged them in the same place where John uh, uh, emerged, mm -hmm. the Mashiach, mm -hmm. or the Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and most people, let's say this, most people think that's up north. You know, up north, that's when in the Jordan River, they have the, you know, it's, it's a forest. You know what I mean? But the scripture blamely say in the wilderness of the Jordan. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's where we were, you know. So we don't want to see brothers and sisters get it twisted. When you're going up there, you're not going to the place where the Hamashiach was uh, 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 immersed. I really think that it's important for Christians to understand now the connection, because people want to put uh, Hebrew Israelites in another category. Right. Hebrew Israelites appear to some to be new and radical. Mm -hmm. You know, can you put that in the context? Because what you're doing now is you're calling people up to the land mm -hmm. to come back to the land right. for pilgrimage. Right. And um, let's just uh, put that in, in uh, the context for a Christian, you know, because they're going to the Jordan River mm -hmm. and... Um, well, see... This is, this is going to connect the, even the Christians' community. This is not only for the Hebrew uh, Israelites. The scripture blamed to say that the Gentiles will attach themselves. Now, we know some of our own people are Christians. 
So where everyone's been going, they've been going to the 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 uh, what we call the the religious Disneyland, the the uh, Jerusalem of the Amorites. But this place. We'll be able to show you and connect you with the true places that, uh, that who the Christians call Jesus, you know, uh, went to. Connect you to a, a, a history. When you walk this land, and even I really believe myself, when, when those of our people who call themselves Christians, when they connect and they see other people who look like themselves calling themselves Hebrew, I think there's going to be another awakening from that. And so that's part of the key. So a lot of brothers want to know why do we teach when we when when Hashua and myself are talking to the 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 Jewish people, they wonder why are you guys telling them this? Because scripture says that they attach themselves to us. I'll give you an example. Just uh, the other day, um, I was showing two brothers from Demona who did not believe that this was the real Jerusalem. And um, they wasn't too fond of Hoshu. But when I took them, Hoshu said, man, these brothers, we've been at it for years, you know, for, for, for centuries, years. He said, just, I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to show them love. And that's how we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you got my point. But um, so I took them to Zion. I showed them. Mm -hmm. And I opened up the records and everything. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't believe. We prayed. We, we prostrated ourselves as the, at, at the Western Gate and prayed. Now, and then at the same time after that, we were inside of Zion, and I was stopped by a, 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 a white a Jewish guy, and he asked me why I'm dressed like woman. So I just, I was, I was like, yes, that was my opportunity. <laughs> Crack my knuckles, snap, snap, snap. No, you did. And before you know, I had a whole crowd, maybe fifteen to twenty people around me mm -hmm. of Jewish, mm -hmm. that was from different places, you know, came mm -hmm. to see the place, mm -hmm. and I was breaking them off. Was just say, well, breaking them up, but I was doing it with humbleness. Mm -hmm. And and um, the gentlemen from Demona saw this. They was like, wow, they couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, it's all this information you have. But I, when I when 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 I was explaining to the guys who we were and what that place was, the guy said, okay, okay, that's enough. They own tourists. Said, wait, wait, hey, hey, let them continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was interesting to him because they don't know. They don't have the name. Many of them don't know. Many and of this them don't know. is it's. I have been here for 30 years mm. and we, uh, I don't know in Benami's heart and mind how much he knew and didn't know, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm experiencing Passover this year in a totally unique way. Well, see, this what makes this Passover differently. We did everything according to the scripture, mm -hmm. even far as washing the clothes and, and, and immersing ourselves. On, mm -hmm. the, on the right day and everything. Only thing we couldn't do was what what was what was the priest um, uh, 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 position that they had to do, which was mm -hmm. sprinkle the blood on the altar. But scripture, most brothers they don't understand that. See, that's the that's the whole purpose of coming. And we the scripture says that the true pastors will come from Zion, mm -hmm. and that's what's going to happen. You're going to learn the truth right here. That these brothers who are who are going to emerge from is going to teach you everything. So. Uh, we were able to we were able to complete everything that was that the Most High had wanted us to do on our half, and that's the key too. Is that this has haven't been done in two thousand years? Why so it is it so important, Kenyon? Why is it so important? Because to do the it Scripture here? says plainly, if we complete the three feasts in our, uh, that the Most High established for us, this would drive the Gentiles out of our own land. But people, our people, not getting that. You understand? They're not understanding that. They have to come back and ask for repentance and then be taught. And we have brothers who come here who, can, who are morays, you know, but they humbled themselves. You know what I mean? We, uh, Lama Yahoo, good brother, had the opportunity to meet him. But these brothers humbled themselves. Is it you know? the people, is it the people, the Hebrew Israelites in America and other places, are they too comfortable in Egypt? They are are they like the slaves that said, okay, Moses, you 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 making it hard on the rest of us. You That's need to right. stop all of that. And and um, they tried to take all the spoils of Egypt with them. They mm -hmm. left out more Egyptian than like being Hebrew Israelites. Well, is, see, is that it? Well, that's part of the Negroes in America are very comfortable. You understand? They don't understand that the Mosai at all the time had us move. He wanted us to. He you know he listen. Most the Mosai love his his. I'm saying that true like it. He loved his thugs. Mm -hmm. You know, but he wants you to thug it out for him instead yes. of for Ashita. Mm -hmm. He loved that man, that, that testosterone thing. Yeah. When you're ready to put yourself on front line, but our brothers have become weak. 
Mm-hmm. You understand? They become soft. You understand? They become the, uh, the teacher's pet. Well, we can't be too hard on them. Well, I'm not hard on them. Because, no, I'm, I'm not, not saying that them. you are. I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking mm-hmm. in general. What I'm saying is, even though some of them do love America and don't want to leave, and, and it's easier for them to just, uh, it's no time, it's not time. Yeah, that's okay, the thing. it's, it's time. easy when for them to time? fall into that mindset. Uh, this is a prophetic journey Absolutely. that we have been on Absolutely. and and the the onish the the punishment that we have been on Absolutely. and trying to seek our way but what better place to seek yah than the house of yah well see the scripture says again zachariah 8 20 tells us that they will come from city to city all different nations meaning all different hebrews from different places to come and seek his face this is the beginning that's what i was saying uh, from the beginning our people have to get the the the, the, the nerves and get up you know, the funny thing about this, uh, Mahalaya, is that every time I was, you know, I've, I've been on my way to Kenya or whatever, and every time I was going to these places, you know, all the propaganda say, oh, 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 this is a bombing, this and this. But when I got on the planes, there was only white folks. They weren't afraid. They wasn't afraid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But our people, believe it or not, I'm going to say this, and, I'm, and, and, and don't get me wrong. I was talking, before I came out here, I was talking to a Jewish guy. I went to, to a cleaner's. And I said, I told him, he seen me with my zitzi, I said, we are the real people. And I said that, but we are, right now, we are in a dorm state. But so once we got ourselves together, I said, nobody, there's no nation in this earth can de- hand-to-hand combat can, can, can destroy us, can, can take us down. One of one man, we put us, I told him, we put us in our best condition. One man can take down three or four guys himself of any nation. And then I said, and if we get guns, and we come together and orchestrate ourselves, you know what the Jewish guy said? He said, forget about it. Exactly. So that's the power y'all brothers got, man. It's time to make our move right now. You understand? This is it. This, this, is, this is it right here. It's like, you know, you got to go for gusto. And the, point, and, and the thing is you got to be able to sacrifice everything you have to be able to come over here and apologize before the master face. Sacrifice everything you have. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get the car. Listen. I would tell you right, I would tell you laying out, listen, you don't have to, some of them bills, don't pay, fall back on them. Some of them, them, them things, them luxury like half cable, fall back on that mm-hmm. and get your ticket and come to and come to pay homage to your Elohim, to your God who put you in the condition that you're in. You understand? Because all that stuff is just going to fall anyway. You understand? So, you know, it's, it, it, why, why are you trying to, you know, Keep making them rich in their system when all you have to do is seek the face of Yah. Come start, you know, start coming here and, 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 and do the three pilgrimages if you can and watch what happens because that's his word. So we got to keep him. If we keep our word, he got to keep his. Well, I'm a firm believer, believer that if you take one step, then the most high is going to take 10. That's right. To get you here if you that's really right. want to be here. Well, a little help from the master is a lot of help. Mm-hmm. That's what that's what I like to say. Look, this the NC Wincy help is humongous. You know, it was always interesting to me when I used to watch movies, and I don't know how much of it was uh, uh, correctly portrayed uh, portrayed or not, but it used to be really interesting to me when I would watch these movies like uh, Amistad, and they had ships with. 500 black people on them, mm-hmm. and um, it looked like they might have had 20 or 30, you know, right. uh, s- uh, slave catchers oh, person, yeah. on the boat, and people on the plantation. Now you you got 500 slaves, and you in in the in the slave master's uh, family, mm-hmm. and they never took it upon themselves to free themselves. Right. Well, the scripture blatantly says that you know he'll destroy us. You know what I mean? And then you know how he then he take the chains off on it. So that's what happened. I mean, that's that's that that's once we were destroyed here, mm-hmm. in condition, they were able to. The master was able to take uh, chains off from there. Now look at us. So Harriet Tubman made a a, 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 a a statement. She said, "If I could have convinced them that they were slaves, I could have freed a lot more." Now, so let's think about that. That was well over hundred years ago. You understand where well, you can obviously see the condition of our people. Mm-hmm. So now look at us now. Mm-hmm. You can't convince no one to think they're slaves. See, I've, I've actually talked to people that I work with and say, we slaves. No, I ain't no slave. But then they start cool. No, I ain't no slave. 
It ain't no slave. I said, we slave. And I talked to a, a, a white girl at my job. And I saw it. I said, if you asked me if I was a slave, what would you think I would say? She said, I said, I would tell you, yeah, I'm a slave. But see, because I understand my condition. So because I understand my condition, I can learn how to re release myself from the pressure and from the system. And what I have to, I can learn what I need to do to get myself out of the condition for being a slave. Does that make any sense? It makes sense to me, and I, I just want to add something to that. Um, all throughout time, it just seems to me that with all of the knowledge and the skill and, um, that we have possessed over the many, many centuries that we've been on the planet, you know, it had to be the hand of God that put us in this predicament. Right. You know, because we, uh, the civilizations that we built, you know, and that flourished on this planet, uh, that's in your, our DNA. Right. And we certainly did build America. Yes, yes, but, we built it. I, you know, to me, it just, I just want to say that the people of the planet, you know, the people that are uh, outside of the Hebrew Israelite faith or, or uh, that don't consider themselves the children of Israel and mm -hmm. they look at black people as being cursed, they need to want this curse to end. Yes. Because when you talk about slavery, you know, most of the humans on this planet are slaves. Yes. And um, once the Hebrew Israelites are restored, then it's going to mean freedom for everyone. Yes, everyone. You know, yes. because it's, yes. it makes no sense that, you know, you have children that are hungry. It makes no sense that we have all of these wars mm -hmm. and that are started over some foolishness. Mm -hmm. You know, all of the... It just makes no sense, and so once we are restored, then the whole world will will be free of the tyranny Absolutely. of the uh, powers that be on this planet. Right. And so that, it's not so much a thing of color as it is just a thing of um, someone usurping the power, mm -hmm. being there for a certain period of time, and and um, you know we have to come back to. Uh, where we used to be, and we have to admit that uh, we were wrong. Well, see, the, and, and I agree with you. The thing is that if you notice, a lot of people there look at Hashua and myself, and they be like, you know, these white folks and this. We see everyone is focused on the white man, this man. It's the wrong focus. Mm -hmm. The focus is supposed to be on Appa. Yes. And the Shamaim. Mm -hmm. Salah. The focus is supposed to be on this place, where we at right now on Mount Olive. You understand? This is the focus. You know what I mean? If we focus, we we put all our focus on on Yah and the Master, Yahuwah, whatever you want to call him, higher, mm -hmm. and 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 do our best to return to this place. And I know how hard it is. I'm gonna tell you, I I don't I, when I travel. Most people think, how are you doing this? It's the, only the Master's doing. It. I don't. I, I, I travel with less than hundred dollars in my pocket, and they don't even know where I'm gonna sleep at. But the master takes care of me. You understand? But if we focus on this, and I say if he do this for me, is it's a hundred and forty-four thousand other brothers he gonna do that for? Him. Okay, now let's go back a little bit because I feel so honored to be able to stand behind this camera and ask you these questions I'm because you, you were a vital, vital part of, of uh, bringing the people home. Your documentaries were awesome, you know, and uh, letting the people, you, you were the one. What in the world, uh, you know, brought you here to, to the point where you wanted to do this documentary? And how did you feel when you got here? And how shall I begin to connect the dots? This man has dedicated so his right. whole it's life right. to bringing us into the true knowledge yeah. of who we are. Yes. 20 years of research, mm -hmm. sleeping in caves, mm -hmm. you know, his children being uh, 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 ridiculed yes. And, yes. and this and that and being scorned by the community. I know this because I uh, was considered a rebel. I was considered, right. um, um, oh well. well. You're still a rebel. <laughs> you still a well, rebel. Well, to the people in, so in Demona, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you, you, when you come here and you listen to him, and I'm not trying to raise him up to be a Mashiach, I'm just saying, to have made that kind of sacrifice, mm -hmm. and here you are, and you admit, you didn't know where you were going to sleep. Right. 
You know, and the people that are coming up here are not rich. Right. And they're right. coming from every walk of life. That's right. You know, we, we just uh, just interviewed a 15-year-old girl, mm -hmm. you know, and I love the beauty of everybody coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, you expect it to be just be, you know, charcoal black people that have been in this for 40 or 50 years. These yeah. are babies coming up in That's here. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, um, I did an interview with another sister, Atara, and her mother in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. Testify, Kenya. That's right. Listen, let me let me say this. Listen, brothers. We got a sister who made her way here, who who had a a, a, a stroke. I'm just gonna say had a stroke, and part of her uh, her body's not functioning to the fullest. But this sister, this queen, this 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 daughter of Zion, made her way here. Yes. She putting y'all brothers to shame. Man. Yes. Spirit, this is a spiritual movement. Mm -hmm. Her body couldn't do it, but her mind and her spirit wanted to come and seek the Father's face. How did you say she got her mark? She got her, well, the mark comes through the man. Well, I'm going to keep that. But what she did, she was one of the, one of the, one of the women that Jeremiah speaks of, that mm -hmm. Jeremiah 9, that speaks of, of the welling women. Because the slaughter is on for the children of Israel of the men. Oh my goodness, say that again. The slaughter of the children of Israel, the men and the children of Israel, of your sons and your men is on. We, I, the parent, listen, all this these brothers put into the power. I'm looking at pictures all over. You understand? Mm -hmm. Why? And then let me let me let me let me make this statement. A lot of brothers are not going to like this, but a lot of brothers really thinking. The key word is thinking that they are doing a Passat or Passover. You're not. It is not a Passover that you're doing. There's only one way to do a Passover. It's either, it's either is or it's either not. You understand? It is the, or it isn't. It is or it isn't. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do that, you have to be in this land. So what do you call that? What do you call that? It's imitations. All that, all that, that, that money and everything you put into those halls and and these garments. Forget those garments. You understand? All that money and time you put in, you could have been got you a ticket. You could have put, you could have sent two or three brothers up. You understand? That's what we're talking about here. We're talking about giving it all, going hard. The scripture in Second uh, Ezra sixteen and forty, I think sixteen or forty says, uh, uh, prepare yourself for war. I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, be those pilgrims upon the earth. This is the time. In scriptures, it says, uh, those who, who buy is going to lose. Okay, now the word has went out. Okay, from Zion. But who's coming, Kenyon? It's very interesting to see who's coming. Well, now, the funny thing, who, who the brothers who came, we have some, we have, and I'm, I'm going to say the sisters came too. But there are some brothers who came. These are brothers um, that I, I, I had the pleasure of meeting. No, I'm not talking about the group. I'm talking about outside of the group. Who is coming uh, to the place that we have put the word out that this is Zion? Who are the people that are coming? Oh, my goodness. The Syrian Jews. The Gentiles. They're Listen, coming. They're coming. Listen. Let the me word me went this. out and they are oh, coming. Man. But where Listen. are our people? Oh, man. Let, let me say this. When this first documentary was was put out, before, before it was put out, when Asha and I were doing the scourge of land, sleeping outside, whatever we were doing, and our dinner was on, it was that place. It, it, it was, barren. It was, it was barren. Mm -hmm. It was empty. Mm -hmm. When that call went out from the top of the mountain, when I put that call out from the top of the mountain and, 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 and called Israel back to the, through the four corners, I believe our people did hear. But what happened, that was a spiritual calling too, because... Now only for our people, it says that 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 it says uh, 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 Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So who are those inhabitants? Those are the other nations that will attach themselves, and they're coming. Now you see how many cars was out there, right? It was phenomenal. But and now the, the, the Sudanese walked from Arad out there yes, to Tel Arad. That's right. So it's like the whole family is gathered at the table. But where is the sun? It said, it said where is the sun? Three people supposed oh, yeah. to be here. The Syrian Jew or the Syrians, the the ancient Egyptians, and where is Israel? 
Where's the daughters of Zion? But but we know that these few brothers who came. Now that was a, that was another thing. We had twelve all together. We had twelve men who came. Oh my! All of them were mm -hmm. mishpahs. Mm -hmm. Twelve men who came. Now mm -hmm. ain't that something? Yes. The first Pesach in two thousand years, twelve men came. Uh, the the picture with with me uh, holding the standard oh on goodness. the willows. With the sun and the moon, the the the, the, the blood moon and the, and the sun behind me, or the red moon, however you want to call it. That was some kind all of these, picture. You, know, you all are, gonna, are, are going to get an opportunity to see it, but I just want you to know this is history unfolding. This is history. And not only that, we were out there on our way to Mount Olive from Zion door to walk. And somebody brought up something about us. Uh, how, uh, how how Dawu was coming up the mountain when he's running from Absalom, and Yash, it was a proof of a wind that came through. It was deep. I mean, it was it was it just mm -hmm. came through and it passed us. Mm -hmm. But it was it wasn't mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. typical kind of wind. Mm -hmm. It was it was it, everyone looked at each other, knew like, wait a minute, whoa, that was just deep. Mm -hmm. You know the way it went through our bodies, everything. So what I'm saying is this. We at war, and the war is a spiritual war with ourselves. The Most High left this place. Jeremiah seen the Most High leaving that place. So people say they ask you, well, why are you praying there? Because our prayers is going to bring the Most High back there. We, the land is not holy. It's you, Israelites out there who are the holy people. Well, That's, okay, I just got, I can't hold go it any longer. What, my question is, what does it hurt if there is any question or doubt in your mind, why would you just assume, okay, well, I'm going to do it this way? If I really was seeking the Most High with all my heart and mm -hmm. all my soul and all my might, I wouldn't leave any stone unturned. That's right. I would say I want to make absolutely sure that I did everything that was required of me, mm -hmm. you know, um, to go ahead on and end this because, I mean... I literally don't watch the news right. because it's too painful for me. Oh, it's horrible. Absolutely, I agree. Um, and again, if we really want to come out, and I'm going to keep this one short, if we really want to come out this curses people, the scripture tells us that we have to come back here. In the directions. We're, we're trying to teach the directions to our brothers. These brothers, again, these brothers, these mishpacks that came, they humbled themselves. They humbled them. Uh, I think his brother's name was Musha, Musha, uh, uh, and um, and um, a couple other brothers from Musha. But they 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 humbled themselves and they listened with all the knowledge they have. They sat there and they listened, and they bear witness that the Most High is working with us. They bear witness that this is taking it to the level, next level. And you want to see what the next documentary that I'm going to put out. This I is cannot gonna, wait. This is going to be the most powerful documentary mm. because you're going to witness something that hasn't happened in, in thousands of years. You're going to witness this. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so we're going to take you through the steps. You know, we're doing it even from the bringing the sheaves to Mount Zion. We're doing that because that's what the law required us to do. So we're doing everything up to what we can fulfill. Yes. So the thing is, all you brothers saying that you priests, where are you? Now, also, sis, I want to give my, 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 well, let me say this. All you brothers who send you a priest, where are you? Where are you? All you camps, you understand? All you camps out there, you say, this, this is your brothers who are, who are priests? Well, then send them up. Mm -hmm. Let's send them up. Let's see if they're priests or not. You understand? Let's, let's take them up there and see if they're willing to do their, their part. So we can show them, teach them what they're supposed to do. But let's see if they're willing to do that. Scripture in 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 uh, in, 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 uh, in, uh, in uh, the pseudepigrapha in the Apocalypse of Elijah says Judah. It says the two tribes will come and lay themselves down. But it says in in the place that was appointed for them. That's here. Then it says Judah was moaning and groaning because they had no priests. Mm -hmm. So that's where we at now. We in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Where's the priest at? Where are you? If you're a priest, show up. Come, we have the feast, we have the Pentecost coming, we have uh, 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 the Feast of Booth. And we even say, okay, look, brother, prepare yourself for the next Passat, because this is where brothers are supposed to get your mark, according to the scriptures. Out of all three feasts, the only feast 
where you men will re receive your mark. See, most brothers don't understand that. The 144,000 is going to receive their mark coming through the Pesach. Performing the right way. There's only 144,000 going to do this. And think about how many men. Uh, we, we're 20 million people just in America. So we're just saying just in America. What about South America, the Caribbean, uh, Europe, and the other parts of Africa? Only 144,000 across, not in America, but brothers from around the world will come to this Passover. So we we'll always say, will it be you? Will it be you who will be there? I'm here, and I'm coming back. But will you be here? Will you give up everything that you have for the Master? Just like you did when you was when we was when I was in the world. I gave up everything I had for Hashatan. Are you willing to sacrifice for the Master? Are you really put your life on the line for the master? Are you willing to die in understanding that what is a Hebrew Israelite for this movement? Are you willing to die for your children? Are you willing to see your children, as scripture say, have a lot in, 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 in Zion, in Jerusalem? Are you willing to go that far? I am. That's what you have to do. Hashua is. And the brothers who came up, they're going to learn that they are. And when they go back, they're going to teach Zion. Because the Most High is going to uplift these brothers because they're going to put Zion first. And it's what, what scripture said, let Zion be on your mind. All right. Thank you so much, Freedom. Thank you, sister. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that that was a God-inspired name that was given to you. Thank you, sister. And uh, again, I'm honored just to uh, be in your presence as right. I am with all the others that... Uh, that I made this particular journey with. It was so spiritually uplifting, words can't describe uh, what I'm feeling. I'm still full. You oh, know, the oh, lamb was mm. spiritual. It was, yeah. it was. It's not about eating the lamb. Mm. It's not it about was, eating the lamb. Our brothers think it's about eating the lamb. It's not about eating the lamb. I used to think it was about eating the lamb, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah, it, I, it was spiritually mm -hmm. uh, refreshing and spiritually filling. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm full That's now. Right. And and I ate a little piece because I'm I'm a vegetarian. I, I, I had a I had a little piece. It was almost like gum. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. But 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 before you go, mm -hmm. I want to give much love to two, uh, 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 three camps out there. Mm -hmm. That that one is um, uh, from the the, uh, 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 the elders. And I'm gonna name. I can't remember everybody's name, but uh, two of them brothers I remember uh, from the House of David in New York City. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you why I, I'm, I'm giving much respect and love for these brothers. Um, but uh, Barack and Ben Yunyan and uh, the rest of the elders there. Mm -hmm. These brothers never met me. They allowed me to come and teach on Zion, and that was only the mass. And I told Barack, I said, "Listen, you are the ones." See, them brothers are warriors. Mm -hmm. You understand? We're going to need our warriors. We're going to need our army. But these, I, I want to give a much love to them brothers because they, even at the, the uh, conference that was down, done in um, North Carolina, after I spoke, and you can see that uh, uh, when, I, when I spoke on Zion there, Barack got up and said, we have to return to Zion. Mm -hmm. This is the next level. He knows that. So the most I moved his spirit on them brothers in that particular camp. I mean, if anybody know me, I don't deal with camps. I'm not a camp, and I believe the most I will run through camps, unless you're pointing the way to Zion. And and, and before I go, uh, uh, the swords of Zion in Detroit, Michigan, dumb brothers is just reestablishing themselves, and and we'll be sending brothers up to Zion. They're thinking about coming from the Pentecost. I mean, uh, not the Pentecost, but the Feast of Booths, and then H O R. My brother allowed me, the elder there allowed me to do a class in the conference class, whatever you want to call it. And now he's sending brothers up. So those, and, and, and I'm, I'm asking every other camp out there to follow these brothers' step. Because if you do not, the master said, according to Isaiah 65, 9 and down, he's going to send a sword after you. And not only after you, after your children. If you can keep uh, performing your these 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 what you want to call feasts in this in your captivity, not in America, in America and everywhere else, the master is going to send a sword after you. 
Zion is the place, and it's only been and only been established. There's no other place that he said to do these feasts at. Okay, other than that, shalom. <laughs> Thank you so much, and to everybody, we love you. Shalom. Love you. Shalom. <laughs>